Hello, welcome back to another episode of Heavencraft and Void, and today we're over here on the mountain we worked on last episode, which is super fun. We did that whole waterfall down there. Can you see it? Do you reckon we can jump in it backwards? Should, can we do a front, a backflip? And he said front flip. A backflip. Can we do a backflip? Yeah! No, not quite, although we're in it now. Anyway, yeah, so we did this last episode. We did that, the prior episode to that one. And, uh, yeah, we've also done this the stuff, the interiors of these um, in episodes before that as well. So we're kind of working over in this area lately, which is not a bad thing. I do want to work back over at my hotel at some point in the near future, but um, I really, really want to finish this island off. I feel like this island is starting to look pretty cool and funky, and it needs some added stuff. You'll see some, some dirt there placed in a strange fashion. That's because I'm thinking about adding a path up to the top. Now, up the top, if we can end a pearl up here, you will have seen that I built a kind of circle, not really a circle because it's Minecraft, but pretty much a circle. And that is because we're building something cool up here. Now, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping it's not too big, because that, that, that scale there works. And I've tried to design this in the, in the scale of that without being like as tall. I'm just hoping it's going to work. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a massive time lapse episode. I'm going to hopefully make it less talky and just more time lapse which should be fun and interesting. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and roll that time lapse right now. Okay, yeah, so that pathway is now done, and for some reason my Minecraft is like bugged out. I was having some issue with the clouds, and now I haven't got any sound. That's odd. I think I just probably need to refresh my Minecraft or uh, re um, bring it back up again. Um, yeah, so this pathway is done. I was gonna do three wide, and I might change it up here to three wide because, as you can see here, with the edge marking of the building that we're gonna make next. Um, it's three wide rather than two, but that is fine. Um, we might change it up. I don't really know how this is going to work. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to build next. So I'm basically going to get my stuff again together because I'm going to need a whole bunch of blocks here. We're going to do similar blocks to this. So we're going to have spruce, um, I think as the majority of the blocks and then some birch uh, to kind of mix it up a little bit. We're going to have some stone. We're going to have some glass panes. Ooh, they're going to make all the difference. Trust me, guys. And um, that will be the last added touch to glass panes, hopefully. And then you'll see what it is. So stick around. Keep an eye on this. Uh, it's going to be hopefully pretty cool. I really, really enjoyed doing that time lapse. So let's go ahead and roll another one.
understand, 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 you don't understand, 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 love, love, how my love, and how love, only man, oh baby, only man, oh baby, you're Okay, so I've been standing around for a little while AFK just so that all the vines and stuff grow so we can get a better look at things because usually I end up leaving the episode and everything's not fully grown and then when I get back to it, it looks like that because I haven't tidied that up yet. Um, and I do like to keep the vines in, in control because otherwise it does look a little bit apocalyptic and I don't necessarily want that look. Uh, although it's not a bad look at all actually, you know what, I kind of feel like my base, maybe when we leave it, maybe we'll just add vines everywhere and make it go crazy. But anyway, so we're pretty much done here. Now, um, maybe by the thumbnail of the video you'll be able to tell what it was meant to be. But um, yeah, we need to add some glass panes to it now. Now this isn't really a, you know, doesn't really go with the style of glass panes, but in the way that we're going to be using them, which I want to say was inspired by, I, th I saw a few, I've seen a few bases over like uh, the last week or two that have used like, made like fireballs um, with glass panes and I was just like, dude that looks pretty awesome and I already want one myself and I thought you know what this island could do with like a little beacon you know because uh, we've got a lighthouse over there but you know that doesn't reach all the way over here so why not have a beacon on the cliff for all the boats that are out there that don't seem to actually be there. We might have to add some boats around here. Just dot it around, you know? Maybe we'll do that in a live stream one day. Just build a whole bunch of boats everywhere. Make it actually look like there's like traffic or something or maybe make it look like there's a crossing or I don't even know. Something cool, hopefully. But anyway, let's really head down. So this tree currently is a bit, is a bit broken. It's a bit broken. Let's it maybe kind of fix it. Maybe that'll do for now, probably. And then we'll add some of that like growing up it there but that works that perfect wonderful bro totally legit um and let's add that there as well and we've got one more so let's check it over there goodbye uh okay so let's quickly head over i always like to end up over to that roof there that is like the best place to look at this now yeah it does really look like there's something missing right now um and it does maybe look like there's a bit too many leaves on it but we can tweak that again like i said uh, those vines have gone crazy, oh my god. Literally while I've been AFK up there, I think those have all grown like down to the floor. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to get a whole bunch of panes of glass. Now, I've got a screenshot of the one that I made earlier, a uh, little fireball-y thing. And I believe it starts off white, yellow, orange, red, and then there's some grey for like smoke. And it actually works pretty well. Um, I could use cobwebs for smoke, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that. But anyway, I'm going to head off and apparently fail at jumping on there. Um, to go and grab those things. I don't think I've got any panes in here. I've actually got glass. Not an awful lot and also clear glass which isn't helpful at all. So we're gonna have to probably go and smelt some glass. I'm apparently sucking really really bad at the parkour today. But uh, once we go get that I'll show you guys what I mean by a super cool fireball thing that is gonna go up there. And actually you know what? That looks way better from up here. That looks super awesome. I'm very very happy. Okay so I'm back with all the things I need. Now I'm gonna start by doing a lot of random placement of uh, of these guys. Now this is going to be super duper hard. Now when I did it before I did it in creative mode. So um, that was a whole bunch easier. Also I'm planning on making this look a little bit like it's a little bit uh, like the wind blowing and it's going one way a little bit <laughs> if that makes sense. So um, we're gonna oh god this is gonna be super duper Nightmarish, I can guarantee already. Uh, also, especially when we've got leaves here. So, this is going to be so, so hard to see. I might even get my spectator account just on my other screen, just so I can see what it looks like from over there, just so that I don't have to keep going back and forth, and that is super, super handy. So, we've gone with white there. We now need, like, a whole bunch of... Have I got dirt on me? Where is it? There it is. I knew I kept some on me, and I've put that around there just so I don't fall off. Um, and then I want to start, like, bringing it up a little bit, um, because then I want to start working in some yellow. Now the yellow looks quite bright, but you know what, this is actually going to work really, really well, so um, don't get too um, <laughs> crazy about it yet. It, do it will look better than it does right now, and then like, then you pretty much just start like spiking it upwards again, and um, bringing in some orange and stuff like that, and hoping it looks good, and if it doesn't, you add just some different stuff everywhere, and 
Okay, this is going to be quite tall as well. Um, so I'm just going to hope that this looks somewhat decent when we're finished with it. But um, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to add a whole bunch more glass panes to this. Go to red and then go up to the top. And hopefully this will look pretty cool. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, well, I thought I would show you guys just quickly in my spectator account. Because that is how it looks at night time. It's night time and this is how it looks. I am so, so happy. I don't know why this keeps doing this. I keep getting lighting. But just, you, does anyone have to stop those? I was getting those here until I placed the carpets down, but um, yeah, it's a little bit weird. I think it's happening up here as well. Maybe not so much. I think it's because there's not so much lighting. But yeah, that is that is the look at that island. I kind of wish that that corner of that thing wasn't in the shot because that looks pretty amazing. That island there, I really really like it. It looks, it feels like it's like a lost island. You know, people maybe used to do some worship in here or something. I'm not quite even quite sure. Feel free to make up a story in the description or the comments below even. But yeah, this is what it looks like, and I made it look like it's kind of going that way, because I feel like the wind would come across there, and I don't know, it doesn't really matter which way the wind would blow. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's going that way, which is pretty cool, and I really, really like it. So I'm in here currently, just chilling, just chilling with my shovel. Oh, I can't, apparently my camera control isn't great. Um, and I'm thinking about doing something in the interior in here, so that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to faff around, do a whole bunch of adding and taking away of different things around here. I might also add a little bit of foliage along this side just because it's a little bit bare at the moment. I might add something there in the future, maybe a little cave, something like that. Feel free to let me know any ideas you guys have for something on this island. I would really, really love to hear them. Uh, maybe this island. I'm thinking maybe I need to put something in this little area. Maybe even behind that, like something sneaky along here. I guess I could add a pathway if I wanted to, um, across there or through the mountain. I don't really know, but like, there's so many options, so many options, and that also over there is looking a bit bare. But anyway, yeah, that is basically what I wanted to show you on my spectator account real quick, and uh, I hope you guys really, really like it. So I'm going to go add the finishing touches, and then I'll come back to you guys straight away. Well, I'm just going up the stairs right now, just to add a little bit more randomness. There wasn't enough randomness in these. All the slabs were very much um, just spruce, and yeah, I didn't really want that. So that's what we're going to do now. And also, I'm changing a few stairs here and there to actually be, to be spruce as well. So it's a bit more, you know, um, it's not quite solid. But anyway, the sun is going down, which is when this looks like, you know, the best, I think. But I've added a very, very simple design inside. We've added one floor. Um, and also this floor, we might, we might, could, we could very much do a floor down below with some kind of magic stuff in it. Um, I don't know. Feel free to give me ideas, I don't even have a clue. But, uh, yeah, we have got, um, a little area up here, which is great, because the glowstone there lights up this floor, which is very, very nice. Means I don't need any extra torches. We've got torches just outside on the floor, uh, just to give it enough lighting that the bottom of the area is lit up as well. Well, I might get rid of them, you know? Saying that, let's let's give that a go. While we're up here, we can reach them. Let me get rid of them all, because I've got a feeling that glowstone in the bottom might be enough. Um, and also that glowstone there. But what I love about glass panes is I've just forgot how much light they pick up from the glowstone. It just it makes, I don't know, the whole thing come alive, which is awesome. I've added a whole bunch more bone meal. We've added a whole bunch more vines and stuff, which haven't quite grown just yet. But I thought, you know, since it's night time, this is the best place and the time to show you guys what it looks like. So this is looking awesome. I might change up this a little bit. I feel like this doesn't now look as good as that does, so we now need to tweak things so that we're kind of getting a similar vibe going on. But anyway, let me quickly park our, across here. Can we do it today? Yes, we can. And then I'm going to head up on top of here, probably. That's probably the best place. And there we have it. Look at that. I am so, so happy with how it turned out. Do remember to leave a like if you guys have enjoyed it, because it has been one of my favorite projects. Um, Actually, you know what? I had a lot of fun doing that one, but that one even more so, so that was a lot of cool, uh, and a lot of fun, that was a lot of fun. So yeah, let me know what you think of the um, tower, or beacon, or whatever you want to call it, um, down in the comments below, and yeah, let me know any other ideas you have for this island, this island, any other island, around the place, things I need to add here and there, and basically that is it guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time, see ya!